Uh, I was in Block Island. It's this little island off Rhode Island. It is filled with lots of lore. Lots of weird things have happened there. I do this. Um, I do this work with the Fifty Second Street Project. We do these plays with these kids um, uh, who live in Hell's Kitchen, and we go away in the summer with the kids, and we write a play with the kids, and so on. And so, the adults we were in a house that someone had rented us, and but I thought it was odd that that we were in the old house. And they had built a new house, and they were living in the new house. I thought it was that interesting. They've given us this great old house. Why aren't they living here? Well, because you know, lights were going on and off in the middle of the night. I was in the bathroom. It, it was always at three in the morning. You know, a door just slammed open, and it was the meanest energy. It was like that energy when I was ganged up on in fourth grade. That just really nasty energy. And um, and then it just sounded like. A, a wrought iron bed was being moved, thrown from one side to the other side upstairs, and I thought maybe one of the adults was was doing things in her bedroom or something. <laughs> and I and I I went into her room and it was so small. I thought there's no way she could have been doing this. It was just it was just a lot of stuff, and it, I just I always wanted to have a ghost experience, and then I was like, I I I just want this. I want. I'm sorry. I I want I just want to get out of here and I mean no harm and please stop. That's what I was reduced to tears. I was reduced to just like I don't want any more ghost stories ever. That was that.